Hey, back to Alex Reiner, like here, lawabidingbiker.com. Thanks for checking back in. Yes, uh -huh, Lurch and I here in the Law Abiding Biker Shop. Of course, we've got a project. What are we doing? That's right, Zero 3D saddlebag lighted hinge covers. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. something like that, yeah. Lurch, got them in his hand. We are gonna install this. There's a little drilling. Not a big deal. We're gonna show you how to get through it. They're actually really easy to install. Uh, the nice thing about these things is, you know, the side of your bike doesn't have a lot of visibility. And so you're basically just replacing your uh, hinge covers here with LED lighted ones. And so it gives you a lot of pop to the side of your bike, obviously a safety issues. So motorist can more easily see you. We all want that, right? Cause we don't want to get hit on our bike, but, uh, oh, and a lurch besides safety. Why else are we putting these on your bike? Cause they look badass and they give you at least five, 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 five more horsepower. Who doesn't like more horsepower? We love Ciro stuff. We've got a lot of other Ciro lighting on this bike. They really are the motorcycle LED lighting innovators for CAN bus plug and play system compatibility. Love it, got it all over my bike in our store. Uh, I'll link to these in the description below. Oh, I wanna show you something else though. And that is Fang headlight bezels, white light to the front and amber when you signal. Again, talking about that side lighting, of course. We did a video on this too. We've actually done a past one. I'll link to those videos in the description below, but I would definitely check those out along with a bunch of other videos uh, on this channel with front LED lighting from Ciro. Let's check the back out. And on this bike, we've got the Ciro 3D bag blades, also a signal when he turns those on. And then here too, we've got our Ciro Latitude tail light signals along with license plate holder, all in the Law Abiding Biker store. And uh, also we've done videos on all this stuff. If you appreciate all the videos we're putting out here to help as many bikers as we can worldwide, we certainly appreciate you shopping and buying it in the Law Abiding Biker store. Definitely make sure we can keep the lights here uh, on here at this channel. Oh, how could I forget our best seller, Ciro 3D Fang uh, signal inserts. Awesome. All right, Lurch getting impatient. He is ready to wrench. We're gonna show you how to install these lighted hinge covers. Uh, before we get wrenching, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon every time those are hit. Another biker joins a revolution. We would love to have you be part of it. All right, Nate, what he's gonna do to start here is get rid of his saddlebag lid tether. And that's a Torx T15 and there's just two bolts on the bottom there you can see one he's working on there and that'll release that uh, lid tether all right just finishing up with that other one there and that removes that tether all right so he's got a torx 20 now and basically what he's going to remove is these three stock bolts here those are going to remove your actual stock hinge cover so make sure your hand is underneath the bottom side as you're doing that so you catch that hinge cover also you can disregard of these three screws because the kit comes with new ones and just removing that last one again, he's supporting that, and now that hinge cover will come off. Okay, so he's got the new uh, Ciro lighted hinge cover. There are sides, so make sure you get the right one, and the wire will go to the rear there, basically. And uh, he's just gonna get that lined up here a little bit, make sure it's all lined up. And once you do that, he can flip his saddlebag lid open. Just make sure you're supporting it because you don't have the tether on there, and I'll bolt it from the inside. So your kit comes with the three new bolts, so make sure you use those. And you can see he's just getting those fingers started into that new lighted hinge cover. And certainly uh, you could put some blue Loctite on these uh, if you're worried about them coming loose. And so Lurch now is just uh, snugging those down. Don't over snug them. Just, uh, you don't want to strip them out. All right, and so now the instructions say that, uh, and in a second we are going to drill a hole. But uh, as you can see with the lid on, you can do it, you kind of have to force it down, but we feel like it's just easier just to take the whole lid off, get it out of our way so we can go in perfectly straight. And to take that lid off, it's very simple. Two Torx T15, just two extra little bolts there. There we go, lid's out of there, we can drill much easier now. Okay, and so with just a little masking tape, he's gonna put that up there. Just always make sure you do this before you drill into uh, painted plastic and surfaces. It will help assure that there's no chipping or splintering. Okay, so your kit comes with a grommet and he's gonna put that up there, kind of up near the top there. And once you get that in place, he will put a hole or a mark there, I should say, with the uh, Sharpie marking where we're going to drill. Okay, he's gonna start drilling this and uh, we're actually gonna step up in bits, so to speak. So we're starting out with a small bit. You don't just wanna start out with a big one, which eventually we'll get to nine sixteenths inch drill bit, but you could cause some damage and things like that. So just uh, we'll work that one and then work our way up. 
All right, he's moving on in there with a little bit larger bit. All right, and moving on up to the big boy, the 9 16 You can see they can catch on that plastic a little bit there, so a little finesse. Okay, and now with his rubber grommet there, he can go ahead and work that into the hole we drilled, just using a straight slot there. And you can get it on the inside a little bit too if you need to work it through. There we go, just finishing up there. All right, and of course, we've already attached the hinge cover to that lid earlier. He's just going to work those wires through now. Just be careful not to uh, mess up or bend the tips because we're going to have to put those in a plug in a bit. And he'll just work that slack through. All right, and remember, we took our saddlebag lid all the way off just to make it easier to drill. And so he is going to reattach there the two bolts and just putting those bolts through the tether there. And he'll get those fingers started back in the appropriate holes there. And once he got him finger started there with his T Torx 15, he's going to just snug those down for the tether, the lid tether. All right, so he's just taking a little rubber and alcohol, clean the inside of this bag out. Uh, the reason is we're going to be putting some sticky pads that we can actually route this wiring around the inside. That'll make sure they adhere properly. Dude, did I just see you take a swig of that rubbing alcohol? All right, and these are the little sticky pads that come in your kit. Of course, you can run a zip tie through them after you stick them to the inside of your bag so you can uh, secure your wire in there. They got little sticky backs. So he's just going to peel those off. And then you can really place these wherever you want inside there. You're actually going to work this wire all the way around to the inside because in a moment we're going to actually drill another hole on the inside of the front of the saddlebag where we will bring the wire back out. All right, next thing you're going to want to do is remove your saddlebags and uh, you may have the stock ones or aftermarket we strongly suggest the rick rack saddle bag safety bolts way better than the stock ones and they are in our store i'll link to them in the description below but get your saddle bag off there nonetheless all right now we can work on drilling another hole in this bad boy all right we're going to drill on the inside near the front here and you wanted to go just about two inches below that other stock rubber grommet in there that uh where your saddle bag bolt goes through and again taping it so that uh we don't get any chipping or splintering. All right, and he's gonna start drilling in again. We're gonna start with a small bit, then a little bit bigger, and then finish up with the uh, large bit, the 9 sixteenths. And just finishing up with his large bit, the 9 sixteenths. There we go. All right, and uh, just working that rubber grommet into position here. And he's going to take that wire in there, of course, and push it through the new grommet there. Just be careful not to bend those tips. And he'll pull the extra slack through there. And then you can go back up uh, and into position and secure your saddlebag. All right, so what you're looking for under the seat here is the black plug. Uh, you're going to split your brake line, basically that stock. And uh, there's just some little fasteners underneath. He's just using a trim tool there to pop those fasteners it does there is a slide off fastener too but it's kind of a pain sometimes so we just pop them and then it's just a push tab and he'll pull that and separate it and so we're going to show you how the Ciro 3d lighting works but you see that in his hand there that comes in your kit it's really you're just splitting basically you're splitting in between your two main plugs and uh, so he's going to go ahead and do that and of course you can see how the plugs match up they only go one way make sure you hear that click and so we're just splitting the main line there now, those are your two plugs that come off. We're going to deal with those in a minute. That'll actually light those hinge covers. But Lurch on this bike has a whole bunch of other Ciro 3D lighting. And you can see each kit comes with a new splitter, basically. And so you just daisy chain them. All the products on the rear of this bike. Um, and same up front in the fairing. That's how Ciro works. It's just CAN bus plug and play system compatibility and so you see you just daisy chained multiple times and so now we'll actually uh, get the hinge lighted hinge covers uh, hooked up here okay so coming off our daisy chain to light these uh, hinge covers you see the two plugs there we're going to use both of them one is left side and one is right and remember this operates your signals too um, along with being lit now all the wires are pretty consistent as far as colors you've got red blue black however on your right signal, you're going to have a brown wire. That's the odd one. And on your left signal, you're going to have a violet wire. So just be aware of that. And then we're going to dive in just a little bit deeper here. Okay, so we're going to work with the left side first. Again, it's got the odd violet wire on it. 
that in his right hand comes with it. And uh, he's going to go ahead and it only goes one way and plug it. Now we just want to make sure and orientate that correctly to the uh, other plugs from the hinge covers. And so very easy. These only go in one way and you want to make sure they click. And basically what he's doing is making sure when he's aligning that, that red goes to red, blue goes to blue, black goes to black on the other end. So when he plugs that in, they match. And then yellow, in this case, in his right hand, will go to violet. And again, that's for the left signal. Just a nice little faint click. They only go in the one way. And you can see he's just making sure that everything's matched up from left to right. Okay, and then once you get all those in, you can go ahead and actually plug it in together there. And now he's just gonna make sure that black is to black, red is to red, blue is to blue, and then yellow is to the violet on this side. Just double check that, you don't want anything crossed. Okay, and again, remember the odd wire on this side is yellow to brown, this is your right signal. We've already clicked all the little uh, wires in there, so now we can just uh, go ahead and plug that in. We should have right and left lights and signals now, so uh, let's do a function test. All right, and he's going on with them here with the ignition. Look at that. We've got the left running light, and then we should have a left signal when he pushes that. Nice in combination with his bag blades, very nice, and his zero latitude. All right, you can see we got the zero lighted hinge cover on the back there, and that's that side lighting that's so nice to have that you just don't get stock. And then, of course, you can see also that uh, zero fang headlight bezel up there also coming out the side just give that really nice visibility all right and lurch just tidying things up underneath the seat of course wire management and where you put everything completely up to you on that all right you're not done i'm popping a couple of videos on the screen here for you hopefully something useful or entertaining heck maybe both at any rate when you're done watching videos on this channel make sure you get out there and ride every chance you get bikeaholics peace